The next topic is to write the equation of a hyperbola. It's similar to the previous topics, just that the standard form and few other things are a little different. The graph over here for hyperbola is kind of like two uh, parabolas. You can see over here and over here. Now, there is one more important thing, the orientation. Over here, you can see whenever there is x squared by a squared as positive, horizontal orientation it is. Whereas it's negative x squared by y squared and y squared by a squared is positive then it's vertical orientation. Now it's also important to notice, see, whenever it's positive a squared, the bigger value is with it. Whereas b squared is the smaller one, it's co-vertex value. See, b is co-vertex, whereas a is vertex. Okay, so x squared by a squared, the positive will have the bigger value. And also remember, in the ellipsis, A was the biggest, the major axis, the biggest length. But here the vert foci uh, value is the biggest. And the equation of asymptote is also important. If it is horizontal, it's B by AX, whereas it is A by, a, a by BX if it's vertical. And if you want to find the value of C, you can use this formula. It's always... Uh, C or A or B use this formula. You can find any of this value. So it's very simple. Now we here, this is the foci, the vertex, co-vertex. Now let's see a problem. It's very, very easy. Now the asymptote for a hyperbola are y equals 5 by 3x and y equals minus 5 by 3x. Now look over here. So asymptote is either B by A or A by B. We do not know which one because it, it can be any one, you know. We do not know whether it's horizontal or vertical. So, and it's plus or minus. So, we have plus and minus. Now, what is the thing? The vertices are 0, 0,5 and 0, minus 5. Write the equation of hyperbola. So, the vertices, see in the uh, previous figure, the vertices, they are given over here. Now, let's graph this. Now, imagine this is the 0. Phi is up over here, there's one vertex, and minus phi. And now, this is very important. If the vertex, vertices are like this, it is going like this and like this. Now, you, you will realize it's not this diagram. It is not horizontal orientation. It is a vertical orientation, you can see. So, all the vertical formulas are used. See, now the center over here, is 0 and 0 you can easily understand because it's 0 and 0 but what about the a and b value you can easily find it from the uh, from this particular asymptote values say so let's see the formula over here it the graph will be something like this the formula is plus or minus a by bx you know a is 5 b is 3 and the vertices is given so we know vertices is phi a is phi that is simple but what about the b value it's three so this is the thing now you can put it in the equation see this is the equation standard form write it over here just substitute it y squared divided by a squared is 25 five squared minus x squared by three squared this would be the answer so it is very straightforward and easy just Try it by yourself. You can uh, s try it by yourself. Similar problems. Solve it and check for the answer. Before uh, before uh, ending this problem, please be thorough with the both the orientations, because if you only study one orientation, it's not possible to solve. And you need to understand this thoroughly. Understand because you need to analyze the figures make a way in your mind and realize the standard form how it is connected when it is horizontal this is the formula vertical this is the formula anything can be asked so be thorough with both of these okay so just be thorough with both of these now if it is horizontal this is the figure it's horizontally written vertical is like this and they will give you information in the question to easily understand whether it's vertical or horizontal.